We're given two vectors and we're asked to find the angle between them. Let's go ahead and do it. Solution. The formula we'll use is the cosine of theta, where theta is the angle between the vectors, is equal to the dot product of u with v, divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Let's go ahead and do this one step at a time. First, let's work out u dot v. So u dot v. So all we have to do is multiply the components and add. So there's a 1 here. So it's 1 times 2 plus negative 3 times 4 plus, and then there's a 1 here, and there is a 1 here. So plus 1 times negative 1. So this is equal to 2 minus 12, 3 times 4 is 12, minus 1. So it looks like it's going to be 2 minus 13, and that's equal to negative 11. So the dot product of u with v is equal to negative 11. Now let's go ahead and find the magnitude of u. All you do is you take the square root and you square each of the components and you add them all up. So it'll be 1 squared plus negative 3 squared plus 1 squared. So this is equal to the square root of 1 squared is 1, negative 3 squared is 9, and then 1 squared is 1. So we end up with the square root of 11. Let's find the magnitude of v. It's equal to the square root. And again, you just square the components and add them all up. So 2 squared plus 4 squared plus negative 1 squared. This is equal to the square root of, let's see, 2 squared is 4, 4 squared is 16, and negative 1 squared is 1. So this is the square root of 21. It looks like we're ready to go back to our formula. So u dot v, that was negative 11. The magnitude of u, that's the square root of 11. The magnitude of v, that's the square root of 21. This is equal to negative 11 over the square root of 231. 11 times 21 is 231. So we know that the cosine of theta is equal to negative 11 over the square root of 231. So theta is the inverse cosine of negative 11 over square root of 231. And this is approximately equal to, using a calculator in degree mode, 136.4 degrees. So that is the angle between these two vectors. I hope this helps.